from the Mayport Ferry, also known as the continuation of State Road A1A. We are about to cross over to the Barrier Islands. There's a string of them that go from um, the island with no name, where we live, the beaches communities, up to Fort George Island, Little Talbot Island, Big Talbot Island, and Amelia Island. We're going to stop at Huguenot Park first. And there are a lot of people enjoying the weather. It's a beautiful warm spring here. And personally, I like to check out as many beaches as possible. Where I live in Duval County, we are within driving distance of many, many beaches. I can walk to the beach from my home, which has been great. Love that. For, for a dozen years, I've been enjoying that. But sometimes we get a little bored and we want a change of, of scenery. So within driving distance, we can go to Fort George Island, Little Talbot Island, Big Talbot Island, and Amelia Island. And all along the way, there are beaches of all different varieties to enjoy. That's why, as a Florida insider, I can bring an inherent love and passion that I already have for the beaches, combined with the fact that I have been reporting, blogging, and writing about beach life since 2008. Just this last year, I established a website for our beaches community called The Beaches Online. And it is an online lifestyle magazine that celebrates beach lifestyle for the people who live there and for people who love to come and visit. I drive around town in what I call the Beaches Online Mobile and we have been getting quite a lot of recognition. But inherent in this is my love for the Florida lifestyle and the Florida beaches. For instance, we've traveled to a couple of different venues to showcase for the website some of the different closer to home beaches venues. This is Boneyard Beach and it's probably a 30 minute drive across the St. Johns River from home. The kind of thing that I do on the Beaches Online and Atlantic Beach Life are exactly the sorts of jobs that you're looking for from a Florida insider. I would bring the skills and experience that I have developed and honed over the past four years to the role. I feel that I could hit the ground running as a Florida insider and I've got the equipment to do it. Because of my constant work on the web via Facebook, Twitter, Foursquare and uploads to the website, I always have with me cameras. I use an iPhone 4S which is great for quick little video uploads and I shoot my more planned shoots with a Canon 7D. I have a variety of microphones including the lavalier that I'm using now and a handheld mic for my work and I could really hit the ground running for Visit Florida. I think the Visit Florida website is a really fun and dynamic place. I've followed the three insiders that I've indicated and those would be my most passionate areas that I'd like to get into. I could serve as a family insider, the beaches insider which is always my first love and off the beaten path as I've found many many awesome places for kids and families and individuals during our excursions over the past three years. I am familiar with the tools that the insiders use because I use them myself every day. In fact, I sort of consider myself a Florida insider. I'm a Beaches Online insider and I would very much love to take the passion that I feel for Florida, its lifestyle, its beaches, and its off the beaten path places to a larger audience. I believe that serving as an insider would dovetail beautifully with the work I'm doing at the Beaches Online and I am ready to hit the ground running if I'm chosen to be an insider.